What's going on in the 50s is a real massive expansion of the use of 16 millimeter film in classrooms. And that's driven in part by technology. So you see a picture there of the uh, Kodak pageant projector. The pageant projector was a new projector that Kodak invented. It was lighter, it was more portable, it was easier to thread. The film didn't burn. Always good when a, when a school system invests in it. Um, although the film did sometimes burn, but it was advertised as not burning. Um, this new, new version of classroom technology really uh, sort of fostered the expansion of the educational film industry. So film historian Jeff Alexander, in his book uh, Films You Saw in School, estimates that there were approximately 100,000 or so, give or take, films that were made in this period. And they were made by, uh, largely by educational film uh, companies. So these would be uh, companies like Coronet, Archer, we're going to see Archer today when we watch uh, Duck and Cover, even Encyclopedia Britannica, again, just to kind of capture the new media idea that an encyclopedia producer would be branching out into uh, classroom film, kind of captures the enthusiasm and the expansion of this uh, as, a, as a technology in the classroom.